Welcome everybody back to another Raid Shadow Legends stream. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Hydra clan boss. Now, I just would not talk about the whole entire clan boss, just a portion of the clan boss, just one of the heads. Now, we don't know if all these heads are going to be the same or if they're going to be um the the thing, but I think though they might do unlimited, so because the uh, clan bosses are unkillable right now. So you can just keep on cutting off head after head. Maybe all of them will look like this. But so far, this is the only information we know so far is clan boss type. And this is when the heads, like I said, we don't know how many heads they're going to be or if they're unlimited. But I think, though, it might be unlimited because you cannot kill the clan boss. Does that make any sense? So, it's going to be all four different affinities. The more you probably kill, the different the affinity is going to be. And let's get into it. So, the special skills it has are Spectra Fangs, Curse Storm, and the Almighty Spectra. So, it attacks one enemy and has a 50% chance of placing a Fear debuff for two turns. This debuff cannot be blocked or resisted. After the first attack, attacks attacks all enemies under fear or true fear on debuff. So right there. So it's going to attack you twice. The first one. So it says it cannot be resisted, but what you can do here is put a perfect veil down. So, passive effect, whenever this head is decapitated, removes all fear and true fear buffs from all enemy champions, then places a perfect veil buff for two turns on two random enemy champions. So, for me, I do have a few perfect veil champions as well. So, I want to go in with those. Attacks all enemies is the curse storm. Damage increases by 25% for each enemy, each debuff on enemy is under. When attacks, uh, when attacked by enemies, not under a veil or a perfect veil bus, places a true fear debuff on them for one turn. This debuff cannot be blocked or resisted. So, what I'm thinking here is we just need to go in there with some perfect veils. Um, and there might be a few other tricks, but that's what I'm thinking off the top of my head. Is some perfect veils decreases the damage taken by from poison. Uh, debuffs by 90%. So only 10% of your poisons will work. So I'm thinking don't go in there with poison champions at all. At all. Decrease the damage all Hydra heads take from AO attacks by 10%. Um, that's not that's not too bad. Only by 10%. So only decrease by 10%. So AO will still work it for 90%. Damage from skills that scale based on enemy max HP cannot exceed 10% 10, 10 of the head's max HP when attacking this head. Damage taken in one tick from HP burn debuffs cannot exceed 20,000 HP. Damage taken from reflected damage, the War Master Mystery or the Giant Slayer uh, Mastery cannot exceed 50% pure attack. So HP burn will still work. Poison out of the bag, perfect veil, yes. So HP burn and perfect veil is what we're looking at to try to build teams around. Immune to stun, freeze, sleep, provoke, a block active skill, block passive skills, fear, true fear, and perfectional debuffs. Also immune to HP exchange effects, HP balancing effects, cooldown increase effects, and turn meter reduction effects. That's a lot. So it looks like we could still use unkillable, uh, perfect Veil and HP Burn on the clan boss. And the AO will still work, but you're getting 10% reduction right there. So a lot of people like using the poison, so we want to take away the poison from our boss. And um, so for me, my team is pretty much ready and set to do some damage. Um, I could just take away the poison guys and replace them with HP Burns and stuff like that. So, I mean, the... The clan boss looks pretty wicked. I mean, it's it's pretty. The clan boss head looks pretty pretty like a sea monster right there. 
a sea monster one right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, that I mean, that's pretty much all that we know so far about the upcoming clan boss. Now, we do know that the new clan boss is going to be in the next update, um, which is going to be, be before the end of the year. So just look forward to this. And they're also going to be releasing more information about this, uh, maybe on YouTube, maybe through some social media platforms or, you know, some maybe just directly to the YouTubers themselves. So just stay tuned for more information. And I am a little bit late on this, uh, but I'm just like really excited about this and you get more prizes. Also, if you beat the clan boss, if you beat one of the heads, sorry, you beat one of the heads, your champions will not only have all your uh, buffs removed, but you get the perfect veil and some prizes for each one that's beaten. I think it's going to work that way. So that's pretty much what we have right here. Thanks for watching. I'm Laura Fly. Stay tuned for more information. There's going to be tons of more updates coming.